Gaming Game de familie en welkom terug bij Fallout 4. Um, ik ben een paar problemen geweest. Namelijk, ik heb wel wat shit gedaan voor de, de minivan, alleen ik heb het niet opgenomen. Nou, ik heb het opgenomen, alleen de audio was verschrikkelijk. Nou, dat is mij nu nog steeds verschrikkelijk, maar. Ja. Nou, jullie hebben niet echt heel veel gemist. Ik heb gewoon. Oh. Ik heb gewoon een paar mensen neergeschoten en dat is het. Uh, misschien gooi ik ooit wel een keer dit video op, uh, op YouTube, maar dit ligt een beetje gewoon aan jullie. Ik zie jullie zien zo. Het zou goed zijn om de Minutemen terug te hebben, niet? Ik weet niet. Denk je dat we ze weer zien? Wie weet. Ik zou het niet counten. Als je me vraagt, ze zijn klaar voor. Ja, je bent waarschijnlijk right. Ik sta hier, kinderen. We kunnen ze gebruiken. Hé. Heb je die raiders gevonden? Ja, ik kick hun asses voor je. No kidding? Dat is de beste piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if he came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Nou ja, uh, ik heb het dus niet opgenomen. Maar zoals ik al zei, je hebt echt niks gemist. Maar ja, uh, ik kan een beetje vertellen wat er is gebeurd. Maar ik heb al echt heel veel te, te vertellen over wat ik heb gedaan. Maar ja, ik heb gewoon wat uh, nieuwe keer gehaald ofzo. Uh, nou, een vatwijn. Ik zeg veel te veel zoals ik maar zei. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. So... There's something I need to ask you. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen. But I think you can. Okay. That means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. So, if I'm a general... Where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. But I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. But one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Uh, okay. 
Ich sage es auch so, das ist ja nicht mehr frei, nein, das ist voll eng. Help! Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Was bedeutet mit our scouts? Und wir haben keine Scouts. Und hier haben wir unsere Companion. Dus laten we iemand meenemen. Cool. Doch niet zegt toch niks. Excuse me. Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Don't worry, dog meat. I'll take good care of them. Moeten we nog? Oh, oké, okay, lekker. Thanks. Uh, maar ja. We gaan nu eindelijk onze weg naar Diamond City. Huh. Dat is goed. Maar ja. Waar die moeten weten. Uh, ik heb ze vooruit wat uitgezet, omdat het echt onmogelijk is om ook maar iets op te nemen daarmee. Want ik kom nooit verder. Um. Daarnaast. Ik denk dat je je reden hebt, maar dat ziet er als like junk voor mij. Oké, okay, cool. Maar in ieder geval, als jullie echt survival mode willen, dan. Dan zes keer weer terug, maar voor nu blijf ik gewoon op uh, normal mode. Nee, ja, nee. Mijn naam is Kusty, als ik het goed heb, maar echt wel ver als die. Dus laten we hem maar alleen. Ik heb niet echt zoveel allemaal meer. Maar, um, Ik wil de minimap, niet de minimap, de real road questline doen. Want dat heb ik nog niet gedaan. Ik heb wel, ik heb wel twee andere accounts waar ik uh, de Broad of Steel en de Institute heb gedaan. Dus ook weer iets anders. Excuse me. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Okay. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Who are you guys? A 
And what are you doing here? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Okay. It's a good plan, if we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. Inside and find his wound. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is clear. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station yeah, and we'll fight. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Go plumb in a bit of ham. Open. Doctor Shoot. So let's see what he looks along here. Yes. Shoot is there also armor. Think of two legs, yeah. Cop it it all steam packs. up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. Sorry about the other guys. Why are you cutting me so much slack? I, uh, I joined the Brotherhood not too long ago. I used to be like you. Wandering alone. So I know what it feels like when every single person you bump into sticks a gun in your face. Look, it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol is his bread and butter. And Reese? Well, let's just say he's as hard-headed as a Mr. Gutsy. But you know what? I trust both of them with my life. Because they're good people. And that's hard to come by nowadays. Okay, cool. Maar uh, jongens, ik moet hem hier ophouden. Dus ik hoop dat jullie het leuk vonden. En uh, tot de volgende keer. Vergeet niet te liken en te abonneren. Later.